peace. Welcome, welcome to Casa di Milano. What can I do for you? Don't take this the wrong way, but you might want to check out my discounted section with last season's styles. They might be more, um, in your budget. Really? I was intrigued when you walked in the door, but now I'm interested. Go on, interest me some more. Let me see that, would you? Well, this might be a problem. He doesn't mention money at all. Do you know anyone who can eat exposure? I don't work for free, not even for kings. But my price isn't always in tickets. I have a few discreet errands that I need someone capable to run. Take care of these trifles, and I'll bedeck you in a garb that will make even King Davies jealous. Just pick up some fabric for me. It was erroneously sent to Cher Chanel. While you're there, you should also speak to the local shop attendants. The Chanel displays uh, need an update, if you know what I mean. Finally, stop by Greta's place. I know she's supposed to walk in Chanel's show, but I need her that day. And any other day Chanel might want her. The specifics are up to you, but please, do be discreet. Suit yourself. My offer stands, should you change your mind. Please go away. I despise beggars. A customer? I doubt you could afford a sock. That's a different story. Oh, wow. Typical. Patrick Smith's with his commands, but no mention of money. You're almost adorable. Even as a slave, you might only be worth half a handbag, but... Maybe, yes. With your, um, build, you might be perfect. Help me with a few delicate errands, and I will dress you in the absolute latest fashion, fit for your royal audience. Three simple little things. Pick up a delivery of some divine fabric there has been erroneously sent to Casa de Milano. That swine has no idea how to even use it properly. Speak with Greta go lightly. She really must stop hurting her career prospects by wearing the rubbish Milano puts out. And remove the garish display of Casa de Milano. I'll leave the specifics of these tasks up to you. Oh darling, I would never dream of stooping so low. I'm shocked you'd even suggest I need to. It's clear I can outdesign that Larry git without even trying. This is just business. I'm not a lowly seamstress. I'm a designer. I will create for you exactly what you need, exactly what will set you apart from the rabble you clearly are.
Oh my, what's wrong with it? Oh dear, maybe I've got some stuff in the back I can put up instead. I'll be right back. What's holding all this inside? Sign here. chosen us for your shopping needs. We buy and sell everything. Ooh, guess we'll for that. Everyone. Always. Can I be of service? I couldn't help but notice you've been poking around in these parts. Listen here. I've got a proposition for you. Wayfarer, this job is big. B-I-G. You see, back before the bombs fell, there was this group of thieves who pulled off a heist the coppers could never solve. They stole a fortune in gold, but nobody ever found out where it went. I'm a bit of an anorak when it comes to these types of things, and I've been doing some digging. I think there might be a clue in the remains of the bank they knocked over. Can you help me find it? Finally! So I'm actually worth my time interested in helping. Lovely jubbly. Here's the location of the bank they were last seen at. If what I'm thinking is right, then there should be a clue there in the form of the bank security transcript. Maybe it'll explain what happened to the thieves. Or at least what they did during the heist. Hopefully it'll help you find the gold. Come back when you've got some ideas. I'll be here. Need something? Clean air and clean living. Well, the all good you can ever need is right here. We don't have it. It's inconceivable. <laughs> oh, I do hope you're here to make a purchase. It's what I live for.
Anyone can spy on us here. Or worse. Another fan. I don't sign weird body parts anymore. Lundgren's here in case you get any funny ideas. People ask for weird things when you look as good as I do. I haven't been paid in three weeks, you know. Let me guess. Milano wants me in another outfit. And why not? You've got my attention. Money is money, right? You've got a deal. It's the rhythm and the harmony. One without the other is just flat. That's why I can only listen to Randall Radio. Huh? Morning. What'll it be? Take a look. Goodbye. I almost hope Miller attacks again. I want to off him and little boys for everything they've done.
Come on, then. Think you can hide?
When the sun's in your eyes, even you look proper dressed. Have you run my errands? I don't measure, I know. With one glance, I could tell exactly what fabric I'd need, how to trim it, and what accessories you'd need. I will not stoop to your disgusting level. Finish running my errands before I change my mind. Good, change now. I don't want even more people seeing filth walk out my door. And come back. Now that you're presentable, I'll happily help you correct your sartorial mistakes. Wow! That looks... Every day we take a little piece back what we lost. That's better. Meet me at the shop, and I'll take you to see Prince Davies. You're not wrong, but mind your tongue. Prince Davies isn't quite who he used to be, but I think you'll see what I mean when you talk to him. the rhythm and the harmony you ready, ready to meet the, the prince watch That's where you're going isn't around the radio you ready to meet the prince
I swear, the sun rises earlier when you're out dancing. Clothes don't say something. You might as well not exist. Hello? See you, mate. You ready to meet the prince? You ready to meet the prince? I almost hope Miller attacks again. Pull your hat out your I'm eyes and get it properly fitted, you numpty. Everything they've done. Hello? See you, mate. You ready to meet the prince? You ready to meet the prince? Hello? Hello? Wait for the light. Now we go. When the sun Hello? Lies, even you look proper dressed. See you, mate. Prince Davies. I present the brave new roundel who turned the tide at the Battle of the Hurly Burly. Ah, the Tide Turner. The wandering wrong number. The battle brazen ball buster of Miller's men. Come in. Come in. You might be coming on a bit strong, my prince. Fuck. Oh, well. Hope I didn't offend you. Right as fucking rain. So long as the chems are on time. Losing his brother, Prince Keith, has been especially hard on us all. The prince sometimes uses aids to help ease the pain. He was a hero. Adonis, Hercules, Richard the Lionhearted, Robin Hood. Arthur. Miller mercilessly struck him down at the Battle of the Bang Bang. Prince Pete rallied us and got us to safety. Without his leadership, the Roundels would be no more. My hand held his head. The half that wasn't split off by Miller's bloody hammer. It's okay, my prince. No, it's not. Keith, where's Keith's body? What did you do with him? I need to be with him. Maybe we can save him. Moon knows all sorts of things. Maybe he can save him, Patrick. Maybe he can save him! I think we should take some Carmex. You'll feel better, Prince Pete. I'll hold him. Jab him in the arm, gently. That's... not really safe for him. Fine. Couldn't hurt to try. Well, hurt worse. Time for us to take our leave. Must be a good day. Prince Peace Music. Probably Prince best Prince you Prince speak Prince with Prince. Michael, Dennis. Well, they're not princes, they basically run the day to day. It's a complicated situation. While we frown on chems, there is a time and a place for them, as you just saw. Mike supplies the roundels, especially Prince Davies, but he also makes sure we don't go overboard. Without him, Prince Davies would likely source his own way to relax, and that means questionable sources and likely higher quantities. Well, you've already met him. A straight arrow on the surface, but he's not afraid to take bold action if he thinks it'll help the roundels. Some people think he goes too far, especially when it comes to his loyalty to Pete. 
But maybe you could convince him there's a better course. Their views on how to help the Roundels are very different. I doubt you can help them both with whatever their plans are. Every day we take a little piece back of what we lost. Apologies. Guess we both need to pay more attention. I've got. Take a look. Bye. If he closed, don't say something. You might as well not exist. <laughs> 